So now we're going to show you how to get into the smart diagnostics window again using the laptop. So if you type in smart settings, it'll pull up, we're looking for this guy right here. This is going to pull up this window and we can go into the smart hardware settings similar to what we did on the board here. But what we want to get into is this about software and product support. So once we get into here, these are our options, contact, support, which you can use that to get a hold of Smart Tech as well. But what we want to do is go down to this toolbox and go into this diagnostic window. If you're having issues with a smart board and it's going to end up needing any kind of warranty replacement parts, they are going to want this log of information right here. Really simple to collect it. You just go up to File and save as, save it to the desktop, wherever you want to put it. And um, that is going to get attached. If you have to escalate, it will get attached to your smart tech ticket. We'll cover that in a little bit. Well, what we want to do now on the 800 series, we have a little bit more options that we can look at and display. We go up here to view and we're going to select this SBX 800. That is the model of the smart board that we are currently connected to. We're going to open this up and we get this bar right here. Now, for any camera replacements and diagnostic information that you're going to need for the 800 series, they're also going to want to see what's called a camera view. So what we see right here is the basic um, camera capture and we're going to click this get image. Down here, this is what they're going to reference as a functional, normal image. Up here is what our cameras are connecting or capturing, I should say, in real time. They obviously match. This one is in good condition. If we see breaks in these lines or dark splotches, that could mean that we have a bad camera that's not collecting the, the input data the way we want. So. To save that image, click Save Image, and again, those are going to get attached to your Smart Tech ticket later if it gets escalated. So we can close that for now. The other important feature that we can show you here is there's this calibration here, but what we'd like to use is this calibration plus enum. What this will end up doing is focusing and trying to correct any imperfections in those cameras if it finds something. If the camera is bad, this will do nothing. But in the chances that it got bumped or misaligned a little bit, this could potentially bring it back into, into focus. Once you click on this here, it's going to pull this screen back on the smart board where you would need to go back, similar to the calibration mode, and you would go back to the board and click these inputs. One more thing I'd like to demonstrate here. If you've gone through all your diagnostic steps and you're still having problems getting the board to communicate to your computer or and it's still not responding to touch, to go into your C drive in your program files 86. Go down and find your smart technologies folder and then go into the smart product drivers. We're going to scroll down and look for a smart firmware updater right here. Double click on this, click next. And what you want to pay attention to is under the current version tab, if it doesn't say under available version, if it does not say up to date or it's different than this current version tab, you want to go ahead and run these um, firmware updaters. Now it is very specific that the bootloader has to be run first. You cannot select them both. You can only pick one at a time. The bootloader gets run first, let it go through its steps, and once it completes, you can come back and relaunch this same file and select the application. Now, if you're trying to run this firmware update and it continually fails over and over and over again, that is usually a good indication that your pin tray is bad. That is the case for both the 600 and the 800 series boards. So after going through some of these basic troubleshooting steps. If you still find yourself not getting the answers you need, you can reach out to Smart Technologies at smarttech.com. Back here on the Smart Settings window, if you go down here to the Customer Support tab, this is a little bit quicker option and a little less confusing way to get and open a, a ticket with Smart Tech. If you click on this link here, 
This will take you to smarttech.com customer support. And here we'll see on this screen, we want to look um, for the online support section. And we are obviously an education institute, so we're going to click on education. This brings us to this window here. And we want to look for interactive whiteboard support, assuming we are just dealing with hardware-based issues. Also, something to note, Smart Notebook, if you're having issues with that, also can be opened through this as well. So we click on the interactive whiteboard support. You're going to fill in these fields here. You're going to give them a quick um, description of what the problem is. Uh, you'll input your serial number into here. Select your operating system. And I want to point out this right here, this files to upload. Again, if you're doing uh, work on a 800 series smart board, we want to include both that data diagnostic file that we showed you and also the camera view. They will inevitably end up asking for that information, so this just cuts down on time and communications. On the 600 series smart board, since it doesn't have the camera view, obviously you would just upload the uh, diagnostic file.